Hello mga mat aaral In this video, I am going to discuss intercepts, zeros, and asymptotes of logarithmic functions. Kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe, just click the subscribe button for more general mathematics video tutorials. Intercepts can be x-intercept or y-intercept. The x-intercept is the abscissa of the point A0, where the graph passes through the x-axis at A. It is the value of x when y equals 0. The y-intercept is the ordinate of the point 0B, where the graph crosses the y-axis at B. It is the value of y when x is equal to 0. When the value of y-intercept does not exist, we write none. Zeros are the root or solution of the logarithmic function that is when y equals 0. It is also the x-intercept of the logarithmic function. An asymptotes of a logarithmic function is always a vertical asymptote, that is, x equals h, in the function y equals logarithm of x minus h with base b plus k. It is the line where the graph approaches but never touches. So let's have practice number one. Determine the x-intercept and zeros of the logarithmic function y equals logarithm of x minus 1 with base 5. Note that yung zeros of logarithmic function is also the x-intercept of logarithmic function. Ang ibig sabihin nito, pareho sila ng value. So, to find for x-intercept and zero of logarithmic function, simply just let y equals zero. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Yung y daw dito sa ating function ay papalitan lamang natin ng zero. So, ayan, pinalitan ko yung y ng zero. And then, I just copied the equal sign at yung ating logarithm of x minus 1 with base 5. So, since this is a single logarithm, we will write it into exponential equation for us to solve the value of x. So, pag nire-write natin itong single logarithm into exponential function, yung base ng ating logarithm, which is 5, ay siya din ang base sa exponential function. At yung sagot dito na 0 ay siya yung ating exponent. And then, yung x minus 1 ay yung sagot sa exponential equation. So, we have now x minus 1 equals 5 raised to 0. So, simplifying this, 5 raised to 0 is equal to 1. And then, just copy the equal sign at yung ating x minus 1. So, solving for x, kailangan nating ilipat yung negative 1 sa right side ng ating equation. So, transposing negative 1 to other side, magiging positive 1. At yung natira na lang sa left side ay yung x. So, simplifying 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So, x now is equal to 2. Thus, the x-intercept is 2. And consequently, the 0 of the logarithmic function f of x equals logarithm of x minus 1 with base 5 is also 2. Dahil pareho lamang ang value ng x-intercept at zeros ng ating logarithmic function. So, parehong 2 yung ating sagot sa x-intercept at 0. Let's have practice number 2. Determine the vertical asymptote of the logarithmic function y equals logarithm of x minus 1 with base 5. To find the vertical asymptote, simply set up an equation showing the argument is equal to 
zero. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Iset lang daw natin yung ating argument na x minus 1 into zero. So, kokopyahin natin yung ating argument na x minus 1 at equal siya sa zero. And then, solving now for x, kailangan natin ilipat yung negative 1 sa right side ng ating equation. So, pag transpose natin yung negative 1 sa right side, magiging positive 1. So, we have now x is equal to 1. Therefore, the vertical asymptote of the logarithmic function y equals logarithm of x minus 1 with base 5 is 1. Now, let's have practice number 3. Determine the x-intercept 0 and vertical asymptote of the logarithmic function y equals logarithm of x plus 3 with base 2. Again, to find the x-intercept and 0 of logarithmic function, simply just let y equals 0. So, palitan lamang natin yung y ng 0. And then, just copy the equal sign at yung ating logarithm of x plus 3 with base 2. So, since this is a single logarithm, we will write it into exponential equation to find for the value of x. So, to rewrite this, yung base ng ating logarithm na 2 ay siya din yung ating base sa exponential equation. At yung sagot na 0 dito ay ang ating exponent. At yung x plus 3 ay yung sagot sa exponential equation. So, simplifying this, 2 raised to 0 is equal to 1. And then, just copy the equal sign at yung ating x plus 3. So, to solve for x, kailangan nating mailipat yung positive 3 sa right side ng ating equation. So, pag transpose natin yung positive 3, ay magiging negative 3. So, meron na tayong x equals 1 minus 3. Simplifying this, 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 2. So, we have now x equals negative 2. Therefore, the x-intercept is negative 2 and consequently, the 0 of the logarithmic function y equals logarithm of x plus 3 with base 2 is also negative 2. To find the vertical asymptote, simply set up an equation showing the argument is equal to 0. So, yung ating argument is x plus 3. Iset lang natin yung x plus 3 into equal to 0. So, we have now x plus 3 equals 0. Solving for x, lipat natin yung positive 3 sa right side ng ating equation. So, pag nilipat natin ito, magiging negative 3. So, we have now x is equal to negative 3. Therefore, the vertical asymptote of the logarithmic function y equals logarithm of x plus 3 with base 2 is negative 3. So let's have practice number 4. Determine the x-intercept 0 and vertical asymptote of the logarithmic function y equals 3 logarithm of x with base 2. Again, to find for x-intercept and 0 of logarithmic function, simply just let y equals 0. So, papalitan lamang natin yung y dito ng 0. And then, just copy the equal sign at yung ating 3 logarithm of x with base 2. So, since this is a single logarithm, kailangan natin tong i write into exponential equation for us to solve the value of x. So, we're writing this into exponential function. We have now the base of the logarithm na 2 ay siya rin yung ating base sa exponential function. At yung 0 dito ay ang ating exponent. At yung 3 dito ay ibig sabihin ito ay exponent ng ating x. So, we have now x cubed. So, simplifying this, we have 2 raised to 0 is equal to 1. And then, just copy x cubed and then the equal sign. So, para matanggal yung cube dito, kailangan nating i-cube root both sides of the 
equation. So, we have now cube root of x cube equals cube root of 1. So, pwede na nating tanggalin yung exponent na 3 dito at yung ating cube root. So, ang natira na lamang ay x. And cube root of 1 is equal to 1. So, we have now x is equal to 1. Therefore, the x-intercept is 1 and consequently, the 0 of the logarithmic function y equals 3 logarithm of x with base 2 is also 1. So, to find the vertical asymptote, simply set up an equation showing the argument is equal to 0. So, ang argument natin dito ay yung x. So, just set up x equals 0. Thus, the vertical asymptote of the logarithmic function y equals 3 logarithm of x with base 2 is 0. Now, let's have the last practice. Determine the x-intercept 0 and vertical asymptote of the logarithmic function y equals logarithm of x minus 2 with base 3. Again, to find for the x-intercept and 0 of logarithmic function, simply just let y equals 0. Ibig sabihin nito, palitan lamang natin yung y ng 0. And then, just copy the equal sign at yung ating logarithm of x minus 2 with base 3. So, since this is a single logarithm, para masolve natin yung x, let's rewrite this into exponential equation. So, rewriting this into exponential equation, yung ating base na 3 is also the base in exponential equation. At yung 0 ay yung ating exponent. At yung x minus 2 ay yung sagot sa exponential equation. So, we have now x minus 2 is equal to 3 raised to 0. Simplifying this, 3 raised to 0 is equal to 1. Solving now for x, kailangan nating ilipat yung negative 2 sa kabilang side. So, let's transpose negative 2 to the other side, magiging positive 2. So, we have now x equals 1 plus 2. And 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Thus, our x-intercept and 0 is positive 3. And for the vertical asymptote, Simply set up an equation showing the argument is equal to 0. So, yung argument natin dito ay x minus 2. Iset up lang natin siya equal to 0. So, we have now x minus 2 equals 0. Solving for x, kailangan natin ilipat yung negative 2 sa kabilang side. So, pag transpose natin yung negative 2 sa kabilang side, magiging positive 2. So, we have now x equals positive 2. Thus, our vertical asymptote is positive 2. Thank you for watching Mat Aaral. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my YouTube channel. Until next time, God bless!